Hi there, it's Christoph, and in this video we're gonna talk about the Octane Tune material. Um, it's similar to the native Cinema 4D Sketch and Tune, but in Octane it's it's kind of a next level as as always. So let's start with uh, creating the material. You go to Materials here in Octane and, and select uh, Octane Tune material and apply it to our 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 subject. Okay, so let's let it load. So you can see now it looks kind of weird. It's just outlines. What we need to do, we need to add an uh, we need to add a tune light, which we add by going to objects, tune light, and let's add the directional light. Okay, so now it has some dimensions. Let's go to to our material and uh, and somehow upgrade it. So we have the diffuse channel here uh, where we can change the color. So we can go in and, and change it to something like red. Then we have the specular channel, which right now is set to to float one, which means uh, if, it, if it was a glossy material, it would be a reflective 100%. But in uh, in uh, in tune materials, you need to you first need to uh, so you need to add some roughness. So let's bump it up to like something like this, and you can see uh, it added a little white circle right here, which also added uh, some highlight on our on our on our statue so it's kind of a, like the specular and roughness works as an highlight and the more you make it rough the, the the bigger the highlights are so we want to make something like this okay so we can go back to the specular and we can like uh, blend the blend the highlights so maybe this is too much and you would like to have something like this and we you can also change the color of the highlights so you can go here and make them Violet. It it works like uh, this works like uh, blending. So it's blending these. It's right now. It's not yeah because we have the color. Uh, it it's blending the 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 highlight on the on the diffuse. So so it's not blue. It's as you can see violet. So uh, you need to count with that. You know. Uh, then we can go to the tune channel and here are some different settings for the lighting mode. You can set it to tune light, which means that it's affected by the tune directional light. Or you can set it to camera light, which means that it's always pointing at the camera. So if we, you, you see, it's like the highlight is always uh, towards the camera. So let's, let's plug it back to, uh, to tune light. And we can we can change the the position of our, of our highlight by rotating the the tune light. So as you can see, we can rotate the light and it it changes the shadow and uh, and the highlights. Okay. So this is this is the this is the light. So let's go back to the to our to our material, and we can add a diffuse tone ramp. What it does, it creates a, a gradient. So we have a gradient here, and we can add like I don't know, like blue and green. But now it's it's blending the it's blending the color onto the uh, onto the diffuse channel. So first we need to disable it by making it full white. Okay. So now we can come back to here. And as you can see, we can change the, the, the colors. Let's make this one red and this one green. Yes, like that. So you can see you can really add the colors and make it like very interesting. And make it like, add some very interesting like uh, effects to your to your tune lights. And it's also affected by the direction of the of the directional lights. So if we if we rotate it you can see you can really make some interesting effects with this. So let let's go back to our material and and we can change the interpolation so it's not like if you don't want to have these uh, rough edges 
you can come here and change this to linear which will like blend the, blend the colors but i think like this one looks looks better okay so the next thing we can work on is the is the is the highlights so we have to disable it to to full white and we can add a specular ram so it's the same thing you just add uh you just add colors to to the to the highlight and you can see it it creates the it creates the ramp in in the highlights so we might make it something like like this okay interesting and the next thing we can do we can change the outline color so uh, you have to uh, click this arrow and select C40 octane and you have to select the RGB spectrum and now it's white but we, we can change it to something like blue or or whatever color but I kind of like the the white outlines and then you can also change the thickness so you can change it I like it when it's free yeah the point three is kind of okay the last thing that I want to talk about is the is the other light which is the uh, tune point light and if we disable the tune dire directional you can see we have like this point light which works like something like uh, which something like a real light you know so it's this point light but I, I think the the tune directional is kind of better and uh, you, you can like you can adjust it better and you can also adjust the the power which is so I hope that you learned something about the tune material and that you uh, right now are able to experiment with it on your own and I'm very looking forward to your amazing art pieces and if you want to learn more about octane and c4d i have a class on udemy so you can check that out in the in the description thank you if you like the video subscribe and like it bye bye